quick but very important tip for all of my Serato users out there in this video. I want to show you how to properly set your beat grids in Serato DJ. Beat grids are important for various reasons. I've done a bunch of YouTube shorts describing exactly why they're important. So if you haven't checked out my YouTube shorts, go ahead and click on some of those. Some really good, you know, quick hit videos that still deliver a lot of value. But let's get into setting your beat grids correctly. So here we have uh, the really popular Drake song, Nokia. I'm gonna go ahead and pitch it down. Hopefully the YouTube gods don't uh, demonetize this video. Uh, but see, I have a beat grid set here. Uh, it came with it, but let's go ahead and delete that. So first tip, how to access the beat grid controls. What you wanna do is click on edit grid right here. And these are all the controls you'll need to set your beat grids. I'll go ahead and clear it. So we have basically a song with no beat grid and I can show you the process from the jump. So what you wanna do is you wanna find the first downbeat of the track. So I'm gonna go with this one right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and set a beat grid marker. So what this does is it lets Serato know where the beat grid should start, where the top of the bar is. So we'll go ahead and hit set. And notice now we have these numbers at the, the, the top of the waveform. And what this does is notice it'll count the beats and then you'll see the next bar. And I can just scroll over and you can see it'll just have the bars playing, right? Beat grid looks okay. But if we look at it a little bit, see there's a little bit of space right there. So that probably means the beat grid's off a little bit. And this leads into my next tip, which is knowing the difference between these controls right here, adjust and slip. So you can think of adjust as making the beat grid bigger or smaller and slip is moving the beat grid from right to left. So since this is, you know, uh, a little bit off, I just want to check down the song, see if it's similar or, yep, so the space is similar. That means the beat grid doesn't need to get bigger or smaller. I just have to adjust it over a little bit and I'll go ahead and do that by hitting the arrows on the slip part of the panel. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, that looks good as well. So I know my beat grid is right on time and right in place. Now, another cool thing uh, that you can do with your beat grids is there's actually keyboard shortcuts, but the keyboard shortcuts are only available when using the single deck mode. So again, we'll just hit edit grid. So if you wanted to you know, save a marker, I would just hit X on the keyboard. That goes ahead and puts a marker down and then you can use the left and right arrows to adjust and shift the beat grid around, which is really helpful as well. Another big tip is if you hold down command, you can grab the top where a number is and you can actually move the beat grid around and that helps out as well. Is it command? Hold on. Oh, no, it's option. So you hold down option and then you can shift or adjust the beat grid and then you can use the left and right keys to actually slip the beat grid just like that. Okay, that looks like I didn't mess it up. Let's shift this down, okay it is. Now, of course, songs with tempo changes is where beat grids kind of get a little bit messy, but Serato DJ makes it really simple to set those tempo changes and save them so you'll get the right BPM of the song and the beat grid still stays on time. So let's just fast forward to where the tempo changes. Okay, right there. If you know the song. And notice the beat grid is completely off because of that tempo change. So what you wanna do is find that last, you know, one or top of the bar where the first tempo ends. So that's gonna be this bar right here. We're just gonna line it up, edit grid, and we're gonna set another marker. Now from here, what I like to do is just kinda of go a couple bars ahead. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is two bars out from 49, right? So it's two bars away. And I just counted out two bars of the actual tempo. So this 51 should be right here actually. So what we'll do is we'll just use the adjust and then we're just gonna go ahead and move it over until it lines up. It can take a little bit and then I like to 
move the cursor off just so I know it's lined up correctly. And the difference between these controls is these inner arrows move it at smaller increments, the bigger arrows move it faster in bigger increments. So now that that's lined up, let's continue on. Looks good. All right. Now that tempo change is done, now all we have to do is exit edit grid mode. And notice the tempo changed here because we gridded it correctly. So let's go back to here and notice it's at 126. And right where we hit that marker and then started shifting the grid, that tempo changed and notice the beat grid's right on time meaning that the beat grid is, you know, at the right part of the song and, you know, set correctly. And this is important because when you're doing a tempo, or when there's a tempo change in the song, you know, it's a little bit harder if the tempo change doesn't show. It's not a visual, a visual, you know, reminder of what the new tempo is. Of course, if you're experienced enough, you can kind of feel it out and use your ears to know where the tempo is. But in just a few seconds, on top of that, now you have a visual of where the tempo is. And more importantly to me, the effects in Serato go with the actual beat grid of the song. Meaning if you have effects like say on the S9 or S11 and I didn't change the speed grid and it was at 126, even at this section where it's 106, that half beat and that one beat echo out isn't going to be on time because the grid in my song is wrong. So that's my number one reason to make sure my grids are right, especially on songs that have different tempos. I wanna make sure that my effects are nice and crisp and on point. So in just a few minutes or in just a few seconds, you can get your beat grids right in Serato DJ with just a few clicks of the mouse or trackpad or even using your keyboard. Super simple and way worth doing. Well, that's all I got for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please be sure to subscribe to this channel as it really helps out. And as always, special shout out to all my patrons on Patreon. If you're looking for more DJ content, some edits, or maybe some one-on-one -on -one coaching, definitely check out Patreon. Or if you just want to support this channel in another way, I have tiers for that as well. Shout out to all my patrons, pop them up right here. And of course, if you're looking for more DJ related content, click on one of the videos right here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.